welcome to episode six of Evernote in the Wild, Provence edition. I'm Stacey Harmon. I'm an Evernote certified expert. And in this series, I'm showing you how I use Evernote to support a trip I'm taking to Provence, France. In this episode, I'm going to show you how I'm setting myself up to have one click access to the exact note I need at exactly the right time. So it's 24 hours before my flight. And when I checked in, I had to fill out this really long form that I'll need at immigration at the airport when I arrive in France. And I expect I'm going to be tired. I'm going to have a lot of things with me. I'll be out of sorts of my normal routine. So I want to make sure I have easy access to this because it's going to be necessary. And they allowed me to pre-fill it out when I checked in. To make it super simple for me to access this form when I arrive, I'm tapping into a great Evernote feature using the Evernote Home Calendar widget. So let me take you into Evernote and I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, here we are inside my Evernote account. And there's several things to notice off the bat. Number one, I have a Google Calendar and I am displaying that on my Evernote Home using the Evernote Calendar widget. And you can see I've pulled in several layers of calendar and you can see my events here inside of Evernote on my home dashboard, which in and of itself is really cool. And I can see it right alongside my project management note, which is a pinned note using the pinned note widget. Uh, I've got the scratch pad and a variety of other widgets as well. But what I wanna focus on here is the calendar widget and a very cool feature that lets me associate notes with calendar items. I just had to fill out this lengthy form in order to enter France. It all has to do with COVID and them tracking me, I gave a bunch of information about my flight, etc. And they require it for me to enter through customs. So I pre-filled it out and I forwarded the document to Evernote and centralized it in my France project notebook. And you can see that I've got it listed under customs on my project management note for easy access there. And that's really a great way for me to be able to get to it. But I want to show you how I can integrate it with the calendar uh, and have some easy access and actually really cool access with that note as well. So you can see here the event for arrival on my flight is showing up on my calendar. And what I'm gonna do is tie this customs form to that calendar event. And I'm gonna do that, I'm not gonna do it by creating a note for the event from the calendar widget. Instead, I'm gonna to go to the customs form here and I'm gonna insert a calendar block. So I'm gonna do that through the insert button and put in a calendar event block. And then I'm gonna to navigate to my flight and you can see I'm gonna need it on my arrival in Paris. And it inserts that event into the note. Then I go back to home now my nomenclature there, you can see the icon is a little bit different and the nomenclature will say open note. So I can just go ahead and click and it pulls up that note. So as cool as that is, which it's very cool and there's lots of use cases for that functionality. What I've really done in this use case is set myself up to benefit and have easy access from my mobile phone when I'm at the airport, like when I'm getting off the plane and I am needing that document. So here's what that'll look like. I'll just go to Evernote on my phone and I'll navigate to the event and I'll be able to click on the note and have it pull up right there. And you can see there's a QR code in the note that they're presumably going to scan and I should be clear to go through customs or at least have a smoother time through customs. It's a pretty fun feature, right? And the cool thing about it is it has all kinds of great implications and workflows that you can use it for. Obviously, I'm using it to tie a form to my landing time in France, but I could tie a dinner reservation confirmation to dinner plans that we have in France or a pre-purchase ticket to a museum that we're gonna visit while we're there. I could put a calendar event in and tie the ticket to that calendar event. And then obviously there's the classic use case of actually having a meeting on your calendar and all of the notes that you take associated that with that meeting can be associated with the calendar event as well. And you can attach more than one note to a calendar event, you just use that calendar block to on any note that you want associated with that event and you can open them right there from the calendar block. I'll be back with more tips next episode. Be sure to subscribe to the Harmon Enterprises YouTube channel in order to be notified of when it goes live and I will see you then.